I greet you with peace and I greet you with love. I just finished doing my meditation and by this morning I was angry, very angry. <laughs> so I just finished, I had to do some meditation to calm myself down. So I just finished now and uh, the message came to me, so I felt like, let me just share it with you. Beware of sexual parasites. Beware of sexual parasites. People who are parasites sexually in nature, beware of them. Normally, beware of anybody who is a parasite, but when it comes to sexual energies, you have to be extremely, very careful with them. In fact, don't even near them. What is a parasite? A parasite is a living organism that cannot survive on our own. Meaning, they have to stay on another organism for them to survive. For example, now, the European foreign policy towards Africa is parasite in nature because they need Mumu African leaders who they have to sit on top of their head so they can be sucking Africa. That is a character of a parasite. I'm just using that one to make the example. But when it comes to sexuality, there are also some people they need to be on top of you for them to stay alive. And these sexual parasites, when they meet you, they will first make love to you in a way that no human being on earth has ever made love to you. That will just bust your head. Hello everyone, hello, hello. That will just bust your head. You will just think, ah, Oh, this person is... I will die with this person. That when they stop... Oh, my phone is ringing. In my head. So, so when the letter starts really showing their true nature, when the letter starts showing their true identity, then you will... Stop already. Then you will know that they don't really, really care about you. They don't really care about you. So all they just care about is they can drain your energy sexually. So because of that, they will always, always, every time, even when you just feel like you want to spend your own time alone, do some interesting things. Do some interesting things. They will still come with their parasite nature before you know you end up making love to them again. Even when the relationship is already over, they will not leave you. When you think it's over, you have explained to them they should mind their business and focus on their life. That is when they will become very romantic and start telling you all the sweetest thing on earth. You will start thinking again, ah, uh, this man, I think he's serious. So you will still open your leg for him again. He will still use you. Then, even when you think, uh, yeah, I don't want again, he, he know your weak point already. He know where to just touch you before you know, leave me, leave me, stop, stop, stop. He will still follow there again. So, beware of anybody who's parasite sexually. Sexual parasite did not just only drain your energy, it destroy your soul. Because they are sucking every good thing in your life these sexual parasites they can be a man they can also be a woman but it's more common with men anyway but we are not yet to judge anybody it can be a man and it can be a woman so whether you are a man you are a woman you are hearing this just know that you have to be very very careful you have to be very very careful and be very very watchful of the type of people you connect your energy with. Because if you keep allowing yourself to just connect with just anybody just because uh, they are cool or you like them, 
Then a lot of things will keep on happening, which you have absolutely no idea. So beware of sexual parasites and know them when they are coming. You can start thinking now, how will I know if he's a sexual parasite? How will I know uh, if she is a sexual parasite? Oguname, tell me this. You will start thinking that now. And it's very simple to know. To know a woman with a sexual parasite, when you are with them, after you think you have done your best, she will say, start again. When you are with a man that is a sexual parasite, after you think, oh, this man today, I have satisfied him, that is when he will tell you, come and come and open this one for me again. <laughs> he will start again. They can even use tablets, drugs, just to make sure. Anytime you have sex with them, you will drain like, like your life don't end. So it's not supposed to be so. When you are having, making love with a normal human being, you are supposed to feel fulfilled. That when you are having love with sexual parasites, it drain you. After, after you finish everything, you can't even do anything. You are just like there. Even your own baby will be crying. You don't know what to do with your baby anymore because you are making love with the parasites. And many of you don't know this. Sexual parasite is that type of a man that he knows he's not the father of your baby. That he will want to be doing sexual things with you in front of your own baby. He don't, he don't just care. And many women don't pay attention to these things. Your children is even dangerous. Is they even are, they they are even at risk when you are with a man like that, because he will be doing things that you will not be conscious of. But later, your child will be traumatized from those things. So avoid sexual parasites from the moment you know them. First day they visit you, what they do is to start rushing you. You just want to kiss, so but grr, 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 just shook hand inside your vagina instantly. Without even having time to even respect your body. Without even washing his hands. He don't care. Same with women. It's both sides. So you have to be very careful with sexual parasites. Any man that is with you, any woman that is with you, and uh, he just came down now from your chest, the next moment he jump on it again. He just came down from your chest, the next second he jump on it again. When you are not aware of yourself, you will think, Oh, this man, oh, this man, good, 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 go, oh, this man, too good. Your head will just be going crazy. No, it's a parasite. It's feeding on your sexual energy. And these parasite people, sometimes they are conscious of that energy. So they need it. But many of them, 80% of them are not conscious because that demon inside of them that they are not in control of is the one in need of this energy especially when you are a water child woman will be water picking oh god they will like to finish you because those things they carry within they want to tap into your energy and drain everything but if you are just only attached to your flesh you will just be thinking ah, he satisfy me ah, he satisfy me not knowing that you are just losing yourself gradually. That's why whenever they leave you, be like best way fall from uh, from seven stories, and you will not become kind of finished. You will know a new man, you will not like him because why? You miss your parasite. You know a new woman, you don't like her. You miss your parasite. You are with a new man, but you are thinking of your parasite the way he's doing it. It's not, you are not thinking of him because you love him. You are thinking of him because you were addicted to that parasitical nature that he has, he has captured you with. You need cleansing and healing. <laughs> a lot of people will not understand what I'm saying. But if you have been with people like that, of course you will just understand me without, without even thinking two times. So I just want to share it so short. I'm just relaxing here and uh, just felt like sharing this with you. I wish you a nice day. I send you peace and love. Avoid sexual parasites.
you don't need it. You don't need it. When it comes to sexuality, not be doing that affair. Not be doing that affair. The pleasure is that that comes from within the soul. So anybody that don't feel satisfied just by being around you, you don't even deserve to see your nakedness. That whenever he's with you, he just, mm, just, he just want to rough, he just want to... No, 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 no. It's a parasite. It's a parasite. If you want to know if it's a parasite, do this experiment. When next he came to you, and start doing those... Tell him, hey, wait. Today, I don't want to do all these things. Let's do some discussions. Or oh, let's draw. Let's paint. Let's paint. Let's go for a walk in the wood. Let's do something else. You shouldn't be... No, no. Oguna may say this kind of... <laughs> don't call by day. <laughs> Tell him this is a parasite, a, parasite, a parasite nature. Let's do something different. You will see all his face will change. You will see all her face will change. She will hate you now. She will, she will just... She will not like to see you now. She can even take her bag and go. If it's a man, she will just walk away. And go and look for the next victim to call. Try that experiment. If you walk, let me know. <laughs> so avoid sexual parasites. I'm not trying to say that you cannot have sex with your partner multiple times or whatever. If you love multiple orgasms, there are people they only enjoy multiple orgasms. But everything has to be coordinated. If every day all you want is multiple, multiple, multiple orgasms, then you are parasites. Facts. So you are just draining energy for nothing. But because they are addicted now to that your nature, they will think they are in love. You are not. They, you are not in love with him. You are just addicted to him. Why he suck you, and you enjoy the sucking until you die and nothing is left in you. Before you will not say, "Oh, oh, be more, <laughs> more." <laughs> So, in life, awareness is everything. Awareness is everything. And men that are sexually parasite, most cases, many of these men, they don't have anything to offer you apart from that sex. They just believe on that giant thing when they carry a hand. I don't even believe, say, be God. <laughs> no, only those things they think of. I had to do this. So I can just laugh because this morning I was so angry. The governor of Edo State is just playing with all Edo people and they are all quiet. Many don't even know what is going on. And when you talk, they will think you hate them or person make you talk. Yeah, 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 people too many for this world. So less people is more than the people with a soul. That's the problem we have in Africa. So many soulless people. Reptilians in dark skins. And would they call the political leaders? So Africa, your problem is big and it's long for ground. So meanwhile, that's another thing. Just avoid people with a sexual parasite nature. If you love yourself. Bye bye for now. Say doctor, thank you for telling this. You are for real. <laughs> yeah. Somebody need to hear it right now. Before they for the next victim. Or so they can know how to free from it. Because trust me, seventy percent of relationship of today are parasites. These are just parasites. These are just parasites. A woman will be timing you, and you don't spend one hour. You did not spend one hour. Those are parasites. Those one are parasites. For a real woman to have an orgasm, she don't need one hour. You need one hour because your body is dead. You don't feel nothing anymore. Your nerves are not working. No feelings. You are not alive. So that's why you just want me to pound you, pound you, pound you, pound you there. You'll be parasites. <laughs> You'll be parasites. Normal people, they feel. Before you touch them, they don't even come. So as you touch them, my girl only they enjoy the moment. When I feel like that, just call though and everybody's already okay. Simple life. Simple life. Not to like my size. I can't do it now. I'll come say I'm not gonna get work. My own at a con de no no now. Nah. We not the girl this kind of nonsense. We not the girl that time. No. My vibration alone go make you wet. 
But before I do anything, you don't come. If you don't come, then case is over. We don't get that time. No, no, too busy for that. You have to look for men. We don't get nothing for brain. When men, when a man brain is empty, uh -huh, then if he they do all those work because you know no no head, no nothing they head. But if you meet a man with head full, now you expect those nonsense because we don't have that time. We don't have that time. Those ones are for men who don't know anything. <laughs> I wish you a nice day before I can't talk too much. Bye bye for now. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye for now, Jerry. Yeah, we're going to be having a